Graduation day for WashU students, but in a few hours they'll be greeted by protesters taking over the streets near their campus. Our Sydney Stallworth is live near campus this morning in Sydney. You just learned about a second protest today, right? Michelle Rennie, that's exactly right. Just minutes ago, our newsroom learned of another pro-Palestine demonstration that will be happening at Forsyth and Big Ben. That's just a couple blocks from here. That's happening in less than 30 minutes. But let me tell you where we are right now. We're at Lindell and Skinker here at this corner, where in about just over an hour, another group of protesters will gather as families make their way to commencement. Take a look at what the campus looks like behind me, completely gated off on this side here in Skinker this morning. Evan Evidence of disapproval, though, is still left on WashU's campus. I want to show you, take a look at this. This is a chalk sign that was drawn on the sidewalk here. It says Israel bombs, wash you pays. Now, protesters have previously called for Washington University to divest from Boeing over the aerospace giants ties to Israel. For weeks, our newsroom has stayed on top of the very latest developments after 100 arrests were made last month. Some students have been expelled, lost housing, and professors have been suspended. Over the weekend, we've heard from some of those suspended teachers for the first time. They say that they've had no due process and that they're exploring taking legal action against Washington. You. Now, five on your side, check in with one of our legal experts, and we asked if those teachers are protected by tenure. Universities are not free speech zones, and the university can do pretty much whatever it wants. Uh, professors under tenure policies can generally write what they want to write and say what they want to write and say what they want to say, but they can't say everything. Now, the commencement starts at 9 o'clock this morning, and ahead of that, there are some new safety rules that you need to be aware of. You can no longer bring in a purse like this one. You're going to need a clear bag, and it needs to be smaller than 14 inches. No balloons or banners are allowed as well, and you do need a ticket for commencement. Now, in the next 20 minutes, we're going to make our way over to that second demonstration I told you we just learned about. We'll check in with you in about 20 minutes and tell you what we see over there. That's the very latest from St. Louis. I'm Sydney Stallworth, 5 on your side. Five on your side will be at the protest and the graduation this morning. For updates when we're down on the air, you can head to KCK.com or download the Five on Your Side app. It's free on your phone's app store. Just search KSDK.